Hello and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. This is uh, Old Fire Craigsman. Last time we um, talked about the guards, so I'm going to try to do this legitimately this time, because last time I didn't really do this legitimately. So, we're going to try this time. Though, if he gets close, I'm going to do it. I'm going to fly over this guy's head if I have to. If I have to, I'll fly over his head. Look at that statue. I think that statue doesn't look real. Pete's sake. Anyways, let's just go back to the sky. How dumb can these guards be? I mean, come on, I can fly. Come on, come on. <laughs> Anyways, now who could that be? Castle Courtyard. Hmm, that looks familiar, huh? Eh, who could that be? <laughs> Anyways, if you go over here, actually, I want to show you guys something. Not that window, other window. If you go to this window right here, you can actually see there's actually um some uh, you see Yoshi there. You can see Peach and Mario and Bowser. So yeah, if you look in there, you can actually see the it's a little Easter egg with Mario stuff. So kind of cool if you're into that kind of stuff. Anyways, you can't cut these plants too short. Okay, I get it, cell phone, you're going off. Hey, let's go over here. Let's go see who this is. Yes, baby. That's right. Press the wrong button. Hey, button today. Who? The buttons again? What are you up to? So, wait, so I'm going to get this text real quick. What are you up to? Well, I don't know what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm recording, how about that? <laughs> That's what I'm doing, frickin' cell phone. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? I'll take that person a little bit. It's actually like 10 o'clock right now. I mean, that's not even late for Pete's Are you up? Yeah, it's at 10 o'clock. I don't know why people text these things. Anyways, oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? No, 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 it's not a fairy. You're, you're seeing things, I promise. Then are you from... Are you from the forest? That's two out of one, baby. Come on, keep going. <laughs> yeah, you got two answers right. Make it free. Then, then you wouldn't have, wouldn't have the spiritual stone of forest. The spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green shining stone? That's free out of free. You win a prize. Not really. <laughs> Do you have it? No. <laughs> well, that's odd. I thought you might be the one from my dream. You really don't have it? Tell me. Tell me the truth. Why, or tell me this, why are your eyebrows greenish yellow? Do you have it? Yeah, I have it. I'm just joking. Just as I thought. That pose scared me. Just as I thought. Wait, what's that in the background? You guys see that? What is that in the background? Just as I thought. What is that in the background? Do you guys see that? I don't know what I saw, did you? I had a dream. I had a dream. Famous speech. Hmm. <laughs> in the dream, dark storm clouds are billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the shot out of the forest, part of the clouds and lit up the ground. The light turned to a figure holding a green and shiny stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would, I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even pro properly introduce myself. I am Zelda. Prince of Hyrule, of Hyrule. Oh, burn guard, look who we just met. Yeah, we can meet the person any time. I am Zelda, Prince of Hyrule. Hyrule, sorry, not Hyrule. Hyrule, what is, what is your name? I don't have a name, I'm nameless. Ace, strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Ace. I'm going to tell you a secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Keep this a secret from everyone. <laughs> Let's just say okay. Okay. I'm like, no, unless you keep your secret. This one goes like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys read for a little bit. How that? I'm just kidding, I'll read it. The free gods of the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. Didn't we already hear about this already? I think we already heard this. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands, or her hands, come on. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, they will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wishes granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told.
So the ancient sage built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Texting. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm of our world. But the entrance is still with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect free spiritual stones. Another thing you need is a treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understood. That's great. I forget to I forgot I forgot to tell you. I was spying for this window just now. That's kinda creepy. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? <laughs> Why? I don't want to look through the window. <laughs> that guy's just kind of creepy. Look, you want to look that window, the man? Who's the freaking dark clouds? Yeah, yeah, I want to look the creepy man. And here is a bad guy of the story. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Ger Ger Gerudos. I, I'm going to call it Gerudos. Gerudos, that sounds cool. They hail from the, de the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that, come, that cover the Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Oh crap. <laughs> he looked at me. He looked at me with a creepy eye. What happened? Did he see you? What do you think? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning yet. <laughs> yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than a Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. He wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Ace, now we're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. <laughs> I don't believe you. Okay. Thank you! Yeah, 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 I bet you're like, thank you. I'm afraid that I have, I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let the Gar... <laughs> Ganondorf... We must not let Ganondorf get, Gan get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He should not have it. Okay, it's cool. Right. <sighs> so I'm texting. I'm just texting back quick. You find? Can, can you, you go find the other spiritual stones. The other two spiritual stones. Make me. <sighs> let's get the try first. Let's get the try first before Gandorf does. Then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will help. It will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter. Well, this letter is Princess Zelda's autograph. Oh yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, it's good freaking. I don't care. I know what to do with this thing. But she's like, oh, okay, talk to me. I should stay now. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. I don't know. She looks like a scary figure over there. Wait, how much time do I have left? Six minutes, okay. I don't think I want look I think I'd be afraid to talk to her too. Look how scary she looks.
I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting the Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as Princess foretold. Sorry, I'm, I'm texting a little bit. <laughs> I don't like texting when I'm recording, but when somebody texts me, I don't really like when we reply back in like an hour or something. <laughs> you know, like an hour later, reply back. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? No, no, I'm not going to adventure. I'm just, you know, collecting a few stones. It's an adventure. My role in Princess Dream was to teach a melody to the ones in the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. How the frick old are you? He's, this is, he's, uh, there is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Let's see if I can do this in the dark. <laughs> left, up, right, left, up, right. Ugh. Fun of this song in the world. Yeah, you probably use this song a lot, but not as much as you would think. You've learned Zelda's lullaby! Yippee! If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. <laughs> I mean, like, more like, let me lead you out of Hyrule Town, more like. <laughs> See, he's like, oh, God, let me lead you out of the castle. And more like, I'll lead you out of the frickin' town. I don't know. You brave lad, we must, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Okay, that's cool. Can I go now? At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should have. T you should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up to the mountain. To go up this, to get, go up to this mountain. She like, yeah, right. The song I just taught you has some mysterious powers. Only the royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you pr help to prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Okay, okay, old lady. We'll see you later, old lady. Oh, take care. How much time do I have now? I have two minutes. Well, <laughs> we'll get over there then and just call it quits there. <laughs> and if you come here earlier, there were actually the owl will actually be in that tree right there, like to like tell you that you shouldn't go this way because it's Kakarika Village. And you should go to the town first. I'm like, yeah, right. Oh, actually, there's a place I want to go first. I usually actually save this. I actually I usually save Long Long Ranch for like um after, like after I get all the spiritual stones. Cause you don't need, you don't really need to go this way, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here anyway because uh, there's actually something you can get over here. There's actually free things that we're gonna get in Long Long Ranch, so just gotta go over there first, which takes forever. You know what I mean, forever. You know, the one thing I'm unsure of though is if if is, is, is if I'll be able to get a Pona, because I want to have a Pona, but I'm not sure we'll be able to get her because with a keyboard, it's hard to play games. Oh, please, please, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank goodness. I did not want to get there. It's like no time left. That's kind of cool. You have the, um... You have the, uh... Cool little, uh... Cool little, um... Sunset. How much time do I have? It's 14. You know, I guess I'll stop it here for now. And then next time we'll continue off, so... This is Oprah Crazy Man, so yeah, good luck.